Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you guys. I'm not even gonna say it because every time I say it's getting bizarre. You already know it's bizarre. It's in the title. Oh my goodness, you guys. Last time was very, very good. We got a really good fight. We got a ton of info that I'm like, what on earth do I make of that? We found out Speedwagon is still alive, although in really bad shape and having some not so cool stuff done to him. Um, but wow, it's just a lot to unpack. So I will briefly get into my thoughts on the last episode. Before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means that you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, Still, thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much for that. Um, so yeah, guys, wow, big epic battle last time. Really got to see JoJo in action using Hammond, using guns, using strategy, using like wit, and like really, really impressive. Um, but right at the end, you know, wanted answers from Straight Cell, which actually proved to be pretty um, effective because we got a little bit about Pillar Man. Um, apparently Pillar Man's going to be just, I don't, like, I don't even know what to expect at this point. Like, probably going to be bad news, but, like, I really don't even know, like, I don't know enough to know. Like, I'm guessing maybe, like, King of Vampires or something along. Like, the fact that it needs blood to, like, revive, and now that makes sense to, like, how we always have the, like, ending thing with the blood, like, going through, you know, like, feeding into something. And, um, I assume that was just kind of, like, a vampire aesthetic thing, but, you know, I guess maybe it's more literal. Um, so, yeah, uh... I'm not sure what to expect from Pillar Man, but I'm going to go ahead and say probably nothing good. I would be really surprised if Pillar Man turned out to be like, oh, hey, <laughs> like a super nice guy, right? Um, but Speedwagon is alive, and I'm so happy about that. And JoJo's on his way, and he's going to save him, and he's going to get to the bottom of this. And we're, it's, no, we're not, oh, now we got all this World War II stuff involved, and it's like, just wow. Um... I mean, that's the cool thing, like, going back to having, like, more of a, um, you know, we're telling very finite stories of characters in each generation. Like, I feel like it does allow you a lot of freedom to, like, experiment with things going on at the time and the time period and, um, you know, different characters and different personalities and, you know, I, I don't know when the next time jump will be. Or when it will be too, you know, um, if, is it going to be another 50 years to the 80s? Um, maybe, I don't know. But it does give you some, it gives you some uh, reason and also a little bit of freedom to do like some more topical things. So um, yeah, guys, I, I'm rooting for Speedwagon. He's made it this far. He made it through the whole Straight So incident. And I'm very pleased about that. So yeah. Um, I guess let's just tune in and see what the heck is going on on the next episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Let's do this. Uh, I don't... Oh! <gasps> oh! Ow! Ow! Gotcha, okay. Donovan. Oh! Oh! Ow! It's very, it's solid. Ow! Ew, no, 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 it's a cactus! How did it turn into a cactus? With the tongue, though. The tongue, it's really hard to take this person seriously with the tongue. Oh, oh! 
We're sent, we're making the cactus grow. Get real, get in there real good. Ow. Yeah, that's what you get. And the tongue as well. That's what you get for having your tongue out. All and we'll just kick you in the butt. Kick you in the butt while we're at it. Cacti are very good for him and good to know. Oh. But he is alive, isn't he? Okay. Yay. Okay, I thought he was going to say, oh, he's really dead. I don't think any of these individuals care. Okay, gargling is a thing with this person. I gotta say, it's a little rude to just do mid-episode. He's very dangerous. You're messing with things you you don't understand at all. No, none of that's going to stop. You've never seen vampires and stuff. Don't pretend to know. Get out of his face. It's blood. You gave him too much. Good job. Yep, this is... Uh, it's using its own sprinkler system is what it's doing. Too late. Oh, great. Oh, great. He's out. Coming back to life. Oh, wait! I mean, I thought Pillar Man was the name, but no. Nah. Okay. Sant Viento. Oh, oh, st standing is a little hard still. Standing's a little difficult. I mean, well, now there's water all over, so. Okay, we're so a little, little stiff. That's understandable after being a pillar man for so long. We're having a good stretch. Oh, you're a little itchy. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're not going to laugh that laugh in my face. So you got him out just to prove that he was not... Oh, that's sick. That's, that's sick. Very bizarre. Oh! Oh. They don't seem very ill, ill, oh, uh, uh, cannot. What is, what is even happening there? It's like liquid. He turned it to... He's, absor he's absorbing. He's absorbing. He's absorbing. He is... The opposite. Well, you know, we know that he needs nutrients. I guess he absorbs vampires. I'm guessing he's like the king vampire. I think this is the part where you should be very afraid that you have awoken something like this. Yup. And now he's growing. He's gaining power. Probably. Yeah, he's probably getting smarter with each. Ah! Kind of looks like he's... He spoke and he said, your name! No, no, disgusting. Oh, uh, Jojo, do something about these disgusting men.
Not what I had in mind, Jojo. You you tr you tried. You tried. Okay, I don't think we need to be taking life advice from someone like you. Oh! Those tequilas were Hammonds. Hammond bottles. Bottles of Hammond. What happened? Oh. And he's gone. He's gone, isn't he? Oh, poor Speedwagon. He's gone. He's gone. He probably, like, just phased right through the walls or something. Okay. Got all, got all limbered up. Okay. Does he have horns, or is that just a shadowing? Oh! What? He's like a mouse. He could fit anywhere. He can rearrange his bones. Oh, the vents, yeah. But I mean, that's still like super hearing. We're all in danger now. Oh, don't. Okay, step away from the vent, first of all. Why are you stepping towards the vent? Okay. Oh, and we're going to go in. We went inside of a person. Okay. All right. We went inside of a person. I did not know it could. This is, this is very bizarre. Very bizarre. He's wearing the person. Ew. And this person is aware the entire time, which is horrifying. And now we're just going to explode the person. Probably absorb them. What's I give up. I give up. It's bizarre. And clearly that person is still conscious in there too. Tickles. Okay. What on earth is happening? What on earth is happening? In a second, I can bet you anything he's going to burst out of this person. Is he pointing at the Stroheim guy? Oh, he could probably actually fire something out of it, too. Which means he's probably going to shoot you. Oh, you're going to die. You're going to die so spectacularly. I'm sure he can hear you. Slumber did not want to be awoken. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's what I thought. That's what I thought was going to happen. Yep. Oh. Speedwagon, speed, speedwagon, speed speed Yeah. Don't blame you for having the aversion there, but. Oh! Ham and hair attack sounds fabulous. Oh, wow, it's a lot of dead people on the floor, okay. Oh. Did not have enough. <laughs> Always with the one lines. It's quite the bizarre scene you dropped in on, Jojo. Oh my lord. Dang it, guys. <laughs> wow. Okay, what an episode. So, a lot of things happening in this one. Um, 
Speedwagon's alive. He's alive. I'm so happy. I am so happy. And hopefully he will stay alive. I know that no one is safe on the show, but come on, guys. You've taken me through some stuff with Speedwagon. Could you just give me this one, please? Could you just give me this one? I don't know who's going to make it out safely. I'm hoping everyone... I really highly doubt that in terms of the whole arc, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, let's talk about Santiento, who is very scary, was really kind of hoping perhaps we had encountered, you know, like maybe Santiento was just going to be like a good guy. I don't know if we can really classify Santiento as, like, it's clearly not, the form is human, but... I really don't know what the story is because I kind of assume that it had something to do with vampires, maybe like the origin, like the first vampire, king of vampires, god of vampires, whatever. And that could still be it, but um, it almost seems as if uh, there is something not, I mean, cl clearly there's something not human about someone that can do that with their bones. Um, but now I'm wondering, like, what are the origins? Like, what, what really is Santviento? I'm very curious. Um, JoJo's here, thank God. Although I am worried for JoJo because honestly, first off, this is not like anyone else we've ever fought. And I mean, we were up to here with straight so. This person blows straight so out of the water. So worried. Second of all, do we want to be using Hammond around an entity that can learn so quickly? If this entity learned to use and harness Hammond, I don't even know if that's possible. That would be really, really bad. So, like, I almost kind of, like, anything you don't want this individual to know, keep to yourself. Um, the, the ability to inhabit any space, like, literally any cavity. Very, very scary. Very dangerous. Again, I'm still really unclear on, like, what the exact origins are, what the exact situation is, but we'll find out. Um, JoJo's here. Speedwagon's alive. I consider those both wins. And we'll just see what happens from here. But, wow, that was a... Okay, so de I'm definitely... We're definitely getting bizarre now. I, we're definitely getting into the bizarre territory of, let's, like, crawling inside person. Just the... the I love the security footage scene. Because there's just something about, like, seeing, like, the eye contact as it gets all, like, ugh, like that. You know, I can't do it because obviously I can't. <laughs> I'm not Pillar Man. Um, but, yeah, that was super bizarre. It was, uh, I, I can't wait to see where it's all going. Like, I'm still just kind of, like, still just kind of, like, waiting for them to explain what the heck is going on to me, you know. Um, oh, the, the soldiers and just the pure arrogance and foolishness and just kind of seeing the comeuppance for all of that. I'm just like, so one thing on the show I have accurately predicted. So, well, actually, I did predict that they were going to carry on with the, with the baby story. So, I guess I did predict something but um yeah I, I I guess we'll see how this goes I don't know I mean Jojo versus and I feel like we're not far enough along in the story to like kill off Jojo here you know what I mean like okay <coughs> excuse me after like 10 episodes I'll start to get a little bit more nervous but I do feel like at this point in time we have not had enough of Joseph I could be totally wrong I honestly have no, like, rhyme or reason to this at all, so I really honestly do not know, but I feel like somehow we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make it out of it. What, like, can we, can we reason with something? <laughs> can we reason? Like, what? They said, disturb my slumber. So, that's the only really, like, insight into any kind of personal anything of this individual. What do they like? What do they want? Can they be reasoned with? All good questions, I think. Um, so yeah, guys, I guess we will just put a pin in this one for today, no pun intended, with the needle-like hair weapon, which was a pretty cool, I gotta say. Um, and I guess we'll just see what's gonna happen next time. A great episode, really freaky, really great stuff. 
Um, bizarre on so many different levels. Uh, Speedwagon's alive. I'm just going to be happy about that for now. I'm not going to worry about Sant Viento. I'm not going to worry about Pillar Man. I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm just going to be happy Speedwagon's alive and JoJo's here. And we'll just see what happens next time, you guys, because there's no predicting any of this. Just did. I just don't. I just don't think about it anymore. I'm just like, you know what? That's your job story. I'm just along for the ride. Um, so yeah, guys, I loved it. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please, please, don't leave me during all this nonsense. Please be sure to join me next time. I'll need your help. I'll need your support, and all the above. Please be sure to join me then. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.